Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy bro, and I am your bro man. Shout out to Lunar Lens for those awesome photographs. They are the photographers that take these awesome pictures of my cars and motorcycles. Check out their Facebook page in the video description below. Today, we have a 2007 Suzuki Boulevard M109R. So back in the early to mid 2000s, there was this craze for muscle cruisers or power cruisers. Yamaha had their VMAX. Yamaha also had a Warrior. Honda had a VTX 1800. Kawasaki had the Vulcan 2000 Mean Streak and of course Harley had their V-Rock. So Suzuki wanted to come out with something of their own and this is what they came up with. Boulevard M109. The M stands for muscle and the 109 is the cubic inches. Now when Suzuki was designing this bike, they decided to take some of the cruiser elements and add some of their sports bike elements. So the pistons here are forged aluminum alloys and the connecting rods are chrome molly steel connecting rods so that design is very similar to what they use on the Dixer 1000 now this is a big engine so it needs a lot of fuel this has sdtv suzuki's dual throttle valve fuel injection system so what that does is it makes sure that the cylinders have enough fuel throughout the power band and throughout your rev range and then it also has sas yes this bike has sas which is suzuki's advanced sump system that allows the crankshaft to be installed much lower within the tank drive it can be mounted lower so that in turn lowers the center of gravity so those are some of the engineering stuff that they have used on the Dixer 1000 and the tl 1000 r suzuki was not playing when it came to this motorcycle now there were there were a lot of more styling elements that they that were inspired by the Dixer. so your headlight here has a little cowl to it which looks like a fairing of a sports bike the front fender is again inspired by the Dixer. this is not a fender that you would see on cruisers uh, this is a very sports bike looking fender then we come to the front forks they are inverted front forks a lot of bikes use the uh, use the inverted forks these days but not back then these were only used on sports bikes what that means is for most of your forks you'll have a bigger tube and a smaller tube look at my 2008 Yamaha Raider you see the bigger tube is at the bottom and the smaller tube is on top here it's the other way around you have the bigger tube up uh, on top and the smaller one down below so this adds more rigidity to your steering mount or your steering steering column and this makes handling and braking a lot easier and a lot better speaking of the braking it has 310 millimeter dual discs up front with the four piston brake caliper again inspired by the Jixer 1000 they, they took some features from the cruisers as well it has a 27 inch seat height so it's quite low it has a 66 inch wheelbase it's got a 32 degree rake angle it's got this big five gallon fuel tank and at the back it has a 240 cross-section tire that's a huge big tire there's some other classic cruiser styling that they've used this is a liquid cooled v-twin that's your radiator you see that it has these like little gills or little fins here this is just cosmetic v-twins that have fins on them they are air cooled so this is just giving it a styling thing to make them look like a big v air cooled v-twin that's a cool attention to detail your ignition and keys are on your left side like right by the engine right, right by the engine like those old cruisers it's not your usual belt drive or your chain drive this is a shaft drive it has a fuel tank mounted speedometer it's an analog speedometer so you have your odometer on one side the fuel gauge on the other side and you can circle through your odometer for your various trip odometers or just keep it there at your regular one here you have your digital tachometer with lights for your neutral check engine light you have your 
you have your turn signal lights here. That's a neat concept. I've not seen a lot of motorcycles or a lot of cruiser motorcycles with a digital tachometer or a tachometer. This is a very neat little phone mount. This is also a wireless charger. I have a Samsung uh, Note 20 Ultra. This can hold it in place and it does uh, and it can charge it wirelessly. You have a beautiful LED daylight with a halo around it. You have those little turn signals on the fork. First impressions of riding the Suzuki Boulevard M109R. The seating position is quite good. The handlebars are kind of pulled back towards you. You're not reaching out for them. You don't have floorboards, but you have foot pegs. And the seat is a uh, pretty decent seating height. For these handlebars, I mean, for your regular cruisers, your handlebars would be pulled back a little bit. But here, it's, a, it's not as pulled back. However, you're not reaching out for them. I'm about 5'10 with about a 31 inch inseam. I'm not stretched out. My legs aren't really stretched out. They're like, I'm like comfortable here. Uh, and uh, I love the sound of the exhaust, man. I know those are Cobra pipes and Cobra pipes are one of the best when it comes to the exhaust. Now these mirrors, uh, I think they're aftermarket mirrors, but they are of decent size and you can see a quite a good amount i mean you can see a decent amount of stuff behind you i love that tachometer man i love that tachometer <laughs> so we know it's got a lot of horsepower and a lot of torque let's see how good it tools in the straight line shall we <laughs> this bike can pull you can definitely see the underpinnings of a Jixxer 1000. I mean, it's not as fast or as quick as a Jixxer 1000, but it is plenty quick, plenty quick. It is much, much, much faster than what any cruiser, any cruiser that I've, I've ridden. big bike it has a big fat rear tire so getting it to lean is uh, is gonna take a little bit of work but the way this bike is balanced and engineered it is not that difficult you don't have to really fight with it now let's head on to the punk and talk about the cost of ownership if you like what we do here at broman please give us a like subscribe and click that bell icon cost of ownership the average rider in the US rides about 5,000 miles a year you would need an oil change at every 5,000 miles you would need new tires at every 10,000 miles. And since it's a shaft ride, you need to change the shaft oil or the differential oil at every 8,000 miles. So over a two year period, you'd, you would need two oil changes. That's about 120 bucks a pop. You would need a set of new tires. That's about 350 for the set. And, and the shaft oil, that's about 20 bucks. So a yearly cost would be half of that. So 305 divided by the number of days. It's only about 84 cents a day. Let's talk about the power to weight ratio. What that means is how many horses to a ton. An American ton is 2000 pounds. So let's convert it. So the M109R weighs about 730 pounds and it puts out about 120 horses. So that's about 328 to 330 horses to a ton. So let's compare it to a fast car. A 2007 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. That used to make 500 horses, but it used to weigh about 3,900 pounds. So the power to weight ratio on that was about 260 horses to a ton. Interesting, right? You might think it's pretty bare bones, but it, it is very functional in its, in its thing. So like on the left hand side, you have the high beam, low beam button, you have the hazards button, your turn signals and the horn. And on the right side, you have your start and your kill switch. I like the brakes on this bike, man. They have a nice bite to them. I like the seating position of this bike, but I don't like the seats. The seats are not good at all. I mean, they're fine for like a short little trip for maybe an hour, an hour and a half. But the good news is you can have tons of seats, uh, tons of options. And there are lots of companies that make aftermarket seats. You have Mustang Saddle, you have Sargent, uh, you have Corbin, and there's many, many more. Is this a good bike for beginners? Well, not really. And uh, I'll tell you why. This is a big, heavy bike. It has great balance to it, but it's still a big, heavy bike. And it has 
lots of power lots of power so probably not the best beginner bike out there but if you can if you know how to have control over your throttle and you can respect the motorcycle respect the bike i think you can handle this so take it out for a spin and see how you feel let's give it a score on the looks it's an eight and a half out of ten on the prop it's a 10 out of 10. on the maintenance it's an eight and a half out of 10 and on the comfort it's an eight out of 10. for a combined broman score of 8.75 out of 10. So the Suzuki Boulevard M109R. This is for the rider who wants attitude, performance, sound and wants to turn heads everywhere they go. This bike will get you a lot of attention. It's a unique looking bike. You can always recognize this bike for its design features, you know, the muscular look, the big fat tire, the sound. And it's not just all show, it's got a lot of performance. It handles really well. It's got a low center of gravity, it can move. The only thing I didn't like about it was the stock seat. Now you can always change the stock seats to something more comfortable. So you can not only just cruise around town, you can also go long distances. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.